Hello, everybody. I am developer relations engineer David Jones Gilardi, and today I want to show you about the freeze path feature in Langflow. The freeze path feature is really nice when you're, say, iterating or experimenting, testing, you know, developing on your Gen AI flows, and it really allows you to decrease the amount of time it takes you to get things done and the amount of tokens that you're using for your LLMs. So, with that, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I'm here in Langflow. Um, and I'm, you know, I've got a basic agentic flow. So just looking at this flow, all this is going to do is going to take some kind of input here. Uh, NVIDIA in this case, I have an agent that is using uh, a search tool that is going to search up on, you know, topics and information about NVIDIA. Um, and then I'm using the structured output. And this is the part that we're going to modify, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the output of the agent LLM and I am going to create the structured output with various fields, and we're going to change that and add some capability. Let's go ahead, though, and just do a run. So I'm just going to run through the NVIDIA one here um, right out of the gate. I'll hit my playground. You can see that uh, I've it's starting to run and everything. Now, the real benefit of using something like freeze path is the fact that sometimes when you're iterating some runs like what we're doing right now where I have to wait on a search to come back for my agent LLM to do something with it, it might take a moment, right? And as I'm iterating through things, you can see there it goes. Um, as I'm iterating on things, I may not want to have to pay the cost of that every time, especially if my previous results are just going to be reused, right? So let's look in an example. So I ran this, great. This is what the agent LM responded with. This is what I got out of my structured output component. But now I want to modify the structured output component. I want to add some fields. Well, I know that the response from my LLM is going to be the same. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the component. I'm going to say freeze path. Now, what this is going to do is going to freeze the whole path of everything I just did, right? Um, so all the responses I got, if I go ahead and just run that, it should run a lot faster this time. There it goes. Why? Because we just used the same information we had before. So this actually saved me the time of having to reperform the live search and for any of the tokens and stuff that I'm sending off to the LLM. I, I don't have that cost. I'm saving it all here locally. All right, so now I want to make a change. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say add a domain field. Now something kind of cool. I'm sorry, I already have one of those. I meant key features. <laughs> all right. And then I'm going to say list of main features and then true okay okay great now notice when i save this when i made a modification to the structured output component the freeze turned off right langflow will detect if you've made a change it will automatically unfreeze a component uh, that you've changed uh, just to kind of point that out now if i were to go ahead and make just a quick modification here to my Markdown to add in support for our new key features. I run this again. And boom, it just runs right through it. But here's the key thing. Let's look at our output. Notice now I have the new key features in there that didn't exist before. Because again, it's just using the previous version, the previous results that I got, right? And I'm saying, hey, don't change those. Now, if I want to come out here just to kind of prove this a little bit more, if I then make a modification to say the input, notice the freeze came off, yet the rest of it's frozen. So what's going to happen? Well, it's still going to show the NVIDIA data because that is the data that I've actually, in fact, frozen in, right? So if you see, I'll still have NVIDIA. Um, but if I want to get rid of the whole thing, if I want to unfreeze it, let's say I'm ready to go ahead and say, hey, I've got my new version of everything. Let's go ahead and run. Now I'll unfreeze the whole path like you just saw, and then everything will run live just like we'd expect. And here we're waiting for the tably search, just like before, right? You can see that here. So once that responds, and then boom, we get our output. And now it's updated with the new search, right? So we did that live. I hope now that you understand better how to use the freeze path feature. And if you weren't aware of it before, now you are. You can save yourself some time and save yourself some tokens when you're building out your flows. With that, everybody, take care. Happy coding.